The 2020 Digital Planners are the best and most optimized version of digital planners I have in the shop. What makes these planners special are the hyperlinks. Inside 2020 Digital Planners, I have at least 30,000 hyperlinks. So you can get everywhere inside this planner with just a tap of a button or a click or a few taps of a click, but you will get there. Now, if you have imported your digital planner inside GoodNotes 5 or NoteShelf 2 and the links are not working, then something is happening and you will have to do some extra steps. In GoodNotes 5, you will have to be in the viewing mode in order to use the hyperlinks. If you are in the editing mode, you are not going to use the hyperlinks. In this picture here, I am in the viewing mode and I can click any hyperlink I want. If I want to switch to editing mode, I am going to tap the pen icon on the top right side of the toolbar and an extra toolbar will appear and I can start writing. To switch back, I will tap the pen again and here I am. In NoteShelf 2, things are a bit easier. Usually, whenever you have imported your planner, you should be able to access the hyperlinks right straight away by default. In, in my case here, you can see that I can click the hyperlinks and also I can write on the page without changing the tool. This is the best feature, feature that NoteShelf 2 has and that convinced me to use NoteShelf 2 on a daily basis. However, sometimes this might not work. And the reason is that whenever you have this setting here, Disable hyperlinks when writing. Whenever you have this setting on, you will not be able to tap the hyperlinks whenever you are writing. I'm going to choose a pen and start writing and then I'm going to tap some hyperlinks, but nothing will happen. And that's because I have activated the, uh, I have disabled the, um, hyperlinks when writing. If you have done these extra steps and the links are still not working, then this should be an iOS 13 issue. This issue happens randomly and it usually happens to GoodNotes 5 users. If you face the issue, there is a solution to fix it. I found it from one of my clients and this is what that client did. Download your digital planner on a device that does not have iOS 13. It could be your Android phone or Android tablet or even a PC, whatever it is that does not have iOS 13. Save the file to a cloud sharing folder, Dropbox iCloud, whatever you are using. Then go back to your tablet and import the PDF planner from that iCloud sharing folder. That should fix it and you should be able to use your planner straight away. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment in the comment section below. If you're looking for a digital planner for your iPad, go to my Etsy store, thefeathersinc.etsy.com.